What's up guys, Johnny here back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video today. How to get tons and tons and tons of credits for free every week, every season. And how you can do it legit. No hacks, no cheats, no tricks, no nothing. The real way to get credits. And I got 40,000 plus right now. And I'm going to tell you all the tricks. And we even going to do the maths together. How much you get every week, every month by doing what I do. All right. So let's get started. And before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for daily cut mobile videos. Let's get into it. And I didn't, I never made a video about it, but I get asked like often how you get so many credits. And yeah, of course I do open crates and stuff. So sometimes you get duplicate and the cheap stuff and you get a few credits here and there, of course. But most of my credits don't come from opening crates. So here's the first thing you should do right now. And I'm amazed when I play with viewers on weekend, so many players are not in a clan. It should be the very first thing you do and do it today. If you're not in a clan, guys, do it now. And if you're not in a good clan, I mean, I don't really like clan jumpers and stuff, but at least try to be in an active clan, a full clan, maybe a max level clan. But a lot of your credits will come from this, guys. If you're in a clan, a level 10 clan, max clan with 65 players that are active and play COD Mobile every day, you gotta check out the tasks and that's crazy big. Every single day, just by doing your tasks, if your whole clan do the task and if you do your task, I mean the thing just reset but I play every day. If you have 65 dudes in your clan, you get the max rewards every day for a max level clan. It's 180 credits every day. Now do the match real quick, just for that, nothing else, just for that. 180 every day is like 1260 per week. It's 5,000 plus every season, 5,000 credits just for being in a clan and play the game. You have nothing to do. So that's a lot of credits guys, a lot of credits for free for doing basically nothing. But there's more, more reasons to be in a clan is the rank rewards. And that's why I say try to be in a max level clan and an active clan. If you get top 200 every week, you're gonna get more. You're gonna get five crates every week for being in the top 200 clans. So that's five crates. And we're gonna open some right now to show you that it's extra credits. On top of these, you get five, that's 20 per month or 20 per season. But at the season, at the end of the season, every month, if you're in a top 200, you get another 20 crates. So that's 40 crates a month that will give you credits. Let's open a few and let's see how many credits you get per crate. Even if it's not that much, but if you get 40 times a month, it's going to be on top of your 5,000 just for being in a clan. So these are the clan crates. They're not super great, but you get some sprays. And after not that long, you're going to have all of these. There's only five sprays. So you're going to get duplicates, duplicates, duplicates. It's going to be credits, credits, credits. But also you get the other credits. You can get 50, 100, and 250 sometimes. So let's open five by five and just show you how many credits you get every week. Even if it's not much, sometimes it's better. So this week I would have get only 34. But four times a month is just 100 something. Uh, and let's do it again three times, but because it's gonna be an average. I mean, sometimes it's nothing, sometimes it's better, sometimes you get a couple hundred. See here, I got the 250s plus 18, so that's 100 plus. If you get that four times, it's like 400 plus credits on top of your 5k. Now let's do the last five. Boom. And it is 200 plus 10, 210. So yeah, if you get 100 plus 200, sometimes it's even better. But just remember, that's every week, five crates plus the 20 crates. So you got 40 times that every season. So it's going to stack and it's going to end up doing a lot of credits in your account. Now, make sure you check out the events tab and the daily tasks. Just for doing your daily missions, you have to click on this. You have something every day at the refresh. Sometimes you get XP cards. Sometimes you get uh, battle pass XP, but you also get credits there. So here it's 50 and I just don't even know if it's 50 every day or if there's more or less, but even if it's just 50 every day, I mean, don't pass, try to do it. Today was just be online, just play. But sometimes you have to do other stuff. 
but try to take a look into this every day because even if it doesn't seem like much if you play 30 days it's another thousand thousand five uh just for getting the daily tasks done so guys uh 5k on the clan plus the crates plus the free ones here for logging in every day and just playing the game now on top of that there's also the lucky board i rarely talk about that but it's another way to get credits and i know not everyone has it so uh it depends on your device some guys ask why they don't have the lucky board well maybe if you're on garena you don't have it also but depending on your device but still if you do have it watch ads uh, every day you can watch 10 ads every day because when you get to spin that thing if you get the greens and you get duplicates it's gonna be more credits here and there and yeah you're gonna get more just by watching ads now another thing people kind of forget about is the rank rewards it doesn't look like it's much but if you do every season at least try to rank up every season to legendary br and legendary multiplayer uh there's a rank reset reward now of course by climbing the ranks you get some crates and these crates can give you duplicates and more credits but also the final series reset when the rank are going to reset if you're legendary you get a thousand credits at the end of the season as a bonus and the same for legendary multiplayer legendary multiplayer will give you the same stuff it's gonna give you even more crates and even more credits at the end of the season only so some guys say well i don't care for the frame i don't really want to grind legendary but if you can just do it because it's another thousand credits at the end so one thousand for the br and one thousand for multiplayer it's another two thousand credits at the end of a rank season now that's not every month that's every two months but still a, an average of a thousand per month so with the 5k plus and the other credits here and there you can get very very close to 10k credits per month now how i end up with 40k yeah of course i open crates but another thing though is don't buy every single gun that you see in the shop i used to do that i don't do that anymore like especially now with the new gold and platinum camos i think they have more value to me so i used to buy everything just to collect but since now i know i'm not gonna use I mean, with 40k, I could pretty much buy everything right now if I wanted. But 10k for a card and 20k for the Nuclear Fallout BK57. I mean, I know it's pretty cool. I love the Nuclear Fallout skin and I love the BK57. But am I really going to use it? I don't think so. So I'd rather keep my credits for something that I really want later. Uh, you never know what's going to be added to the shop. But one thing I buy for sure is the soldiers. So recently we've been having a new soldier every update, kind of, every store refresh. Sometimes they're 3,000 credits, sometimes they're 6,000 credits. And they want you to buy them because they have challenges that forces you to use the credit store soldier. I think that's been twice now, they force you to buy it. So you have to have credit to buy the soldiers. So I say save your credits buy soldiers only if you want to and save your credits for something else later you should not have problems i mean if you get 10,000 credits per month but you only need to buy one soldier every month you should have way more than 3k per month and way more than 6k also i mean just for being in a clan it's like 6k so pretty much 6k so make sure you rank up make sure you play every day check for the events and do and do everything guys the other seasonal you get credits in there here and there as rewards uh the battle pass you don't have to buy the free battle pass will give you credits and at the end after you tier 50 you get another 50 credits every tier so if you play more you get more credits last season i was like i don't know two 200 300 something and that's a lot of credits if you play a lot so that's how I end up with 40k credits, not just because I I buy crates, but I did buy a lot of stuff in the credit store and I still have 40k. So you can do it too without spending money, but for real, you need to join a clan. Join a clan, a good clan, a full clan, a max level clan. You can do this. I'm sure there's plenty of good clans looking for players right now because some people quit the game and they stop playing. I'm sure there's holes to fill. Check the Reddit, check the Discord. I'm sure you'll find some recruitment for clans. 
and it is really worth it so that's pretty much it for today's video guys good luck for real let me know in the comments if i forgot something but it's pretty much the most important the the daily task the clan task and the rest is the free crates and the ads and rank up get all your rewards do all your challenges and you'll have plenty of credits guys so that's it thanks for watching smash like if you enjoyed don't forget to subscribe for daily cut mobile videos i will see you guys in the next one take care